Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. We are joined once again by Chris Horn. Chris, thank you for coming in. From Amscan, by the way. Um, so Chris, Chris has described to me what it is we're going to be doing today. And it is, Chris, tell everybody how you described what you're going to be doing. I, I described it as a sort of ballerina tutu kind of thing. There you go, a ballerina tutu kind of thing. <laughs> so, yeah, without further ado, let's, let's see what a ballerina tutu, tutu kind, of thing. kind of thing looks like. Okay, the uh, reason for it is, yeah, obviously, we follow social media just to see what's going on. And recently, there appears to have been an, quite an upturn in in the, the generic princess kind of yeah. thing. Um, and, you know, princesses, ballerinas, tutus, the whole thing. So I thought it would be quite fun just to put together a design that will fit in with that theme, a little bit different maybe, and one that you can customise by changing the colours okay. into all sorts of different things. Because right, I'm okay. going to use the Satin Lux yep. solid colour heart, in okay. this case in pink, yeah. but obviously this comes in a whole range of different colours. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to use your... Um, tool that you sell for the three foot three foot balloons, yeah, the three which also comes in a whole right? range of different colours. Yeah. So, you know, the balloons, the latex balloons, all come in a whole range of different colours. So once you've got this, <coughs> you can switch it up and change it around to fit all sorts of themes. So, yeah, yeah that was the idea. So I've got a Lomi dish and pedestal. It's a twenty-one inch. Okay. Probably. Yeah, it looks like it's this inch. high. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On a six-inch dish. Um, Satin looks heart, piece of tulle, and various other bits of bobs. So I'm going to start by cutting this tulle, because I only need half of it. Okay. Um, so one pack will do two of these mm -hmm. quite easily. And it's nicely folded in the pack. So I that did you that can... myself. Good. Well done, sir, because you've done it exactly right. Because if you don't unfold it too far, you just unfold it to there, then you can cut it in half just by going straight up that seam, that fold there. Have you ever seen them in John Lewis, that. the way they cut fabric? Yeah. It's amazing. It's, it it's incredible, isn't it? It's so smooth. Yes. You do probably... need really good scissors for that, yeah. I'm afraid. Well, these are high-end scissors, aren't they're they? They're very high-end scissors. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Available I... from a good Swedish store. <laughs> 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 they're the only scissors I use because I leave them everywhere. <laughs> and so I, there's no way I'm going to pay. Actually, I, I lie. I've got one pair of scissors that I guard with my life that was bought for me. Actually, it's about five years ago, and I've still got them. All right. Um, it's a pair of Fisker's Teflon scissors. Oh. I know. It sounds amazing. But I'm forever getting stressed out and upset because um, you use a lot of sticky stuff, don't we? Yeah, yeah. And I do, particularly when I'm doing the big balloon walls, cutting up the self-adhesive Velcro. Yeah. yeah. It wrecks your scissors. Yeah. So, so what's the advantage of Teflon scissors? They don't get wrecked. The sticky stuff doesn't stick to them. Oh, that's awesome. They're incredible. Teflon, so, yeah. Yes, a colleague of non mine in the office got obviously so fed up with me moaning and groaning about my scissors <laughs> being ruined. They bought me them for Christmas. And I've hung on to these things for five years. And yeah, they're marvellous. Cool. So, but they were very expensive. So for just general use, these will be nice. Right, now folded this square, corner to corner, corner to corner. Yeah. Corner to corner, I'm just going to cut it into a sort of rough circle. Okay. Literally, a very rough circle. I'm not worried much at all about whether it's accurate or not and whether the edges are straight because that will all come out in the wash at the end i see but just okay so i've now got so is this going to be like a big fluffy big fluffy yes it will be Excellent. yes very similar to a big fluffy so that when you open it will be roughly circular and then i'm also then going to make a hole in the middle mm. so do that by cutting the point off they're all very simple and easy at this point. Yeah. Open it out there. Okay, the big disc of pink tool. Take your Happy Looks heart. I've never seen this used like this before, so. Oh, there you go. It's another great. First time for everything. Oh, no. It's exciting. <laughs> it's, I, I love this stuff, um, but you know, I, I'm not one for doing things in the traditional manner as you probably noticed <laughs> <laughs> right put my foil inflation nozzle yeah, on there i do like that inflator yeah so we talked about it in an earlier one i think already. we did so that's good and it, because this now will inflate this foil without popping it yeah so. yeah that's great takes all the stress out of it 
It does indeed. Right, so now I need two clusters of latex balloons, the four latex. Um, I've got one at about, I think, three inches, one about three and a half. So they're just slightly different. And I'm going to twist those. <laughs> I'll get rid of that. Get a little bit of chill. <laughs> twist those oh, no. together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. The joy of static. So I've now got a, a nice double cluster there. Okay. Which way up does it go? It goes that way. The wider, the bigger ones at the top. Then put the tail of the heart through the middle of there. Ooh. And then wrap the tail through the cluster nice and tight so that it holds really firmly up against the it holds the tool really firmly up against the base of the Satin Lux balloon. Okay, like that. Now, take your loamy thing. I love this because I've no idea where it's going. You don't know where it's <laughs> going? I have no idea where it's going. <laughs> it's a magical mystery. Um, I've put a, an uninflated five inch around the top of it just to give these something to grip onto yep. so it doesn't yep. slide. Yep. And also, if there was, there isn't, but if there was any sharp edges on there, then those are now protected. And I'm, I shall put it down like this so you can probably see it. I'm going to push that in there. And just twist the balloons over to lock it firmly onto the top of the column. Okay. You might have to we fiddle a little bit. We can faff with it yeah. in a minute to make it sit up straight. Tell you what, these latex balloons are ever so strong, <laughs> <laughs> which is a relief. It's sort of amount of, of um, grief. I'm going to put it down again because something's gone a little bit haywire. Oh, there we go. Now, somehow or other, I've got that. Trying to get the, the clusters level again, and I'm just struggling slightly to do so. I'm not entirely sure. Well, this is why. the reality this is what of doing this, this sort of stuff. Like. Sometimes you've got to figure it out. So. There we go, that's better. Okay, we've got there it go. now. Right, now we need to fluff this up. Okay. So I'm going to literally do it like a fluffy. I'm just going to take one layer and just twist it slightly to one side so that it separates from the others. Go back the other way. So I just want to, to open up each layer of tool to give it a little bit more volume. Otherwise it all looks slightly flat and uninteresting. But by pulling it side to side, one this way, one that way, then Look at that. we've now got a sort of mock tutu. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can fluff it as much as you like, but I think that's probably enough. You don't want to overdo it. Very nice. I'm going to just dress up the base or hide the base with two clusters of five inch again. Let's just wrap those around. Like so, actually, take that off again. Forgot a step. Oh, yeah. I want to try these round first. So I couldn't correct you because I had no idea where it no, was going. No, you've got no clue. <laughs> I've, I've You're honest. saying I've got no clue? Because, no. Oh, you're, you're obviously right, yeah. <laughs> you, won't, you won't invite me back again. <laughs> like, oops. Now, I'll tie these round first just to... Yeah, the, the Lomi dish and Lomi pedestal, they're, they're, indiscre they're discreet enough and in... in um, I can't think of the word, but they don't stick out. They, they hide quite easily. But Is that supposed to be I right? just want to... No, that's not. That's, that's another bit. Um, I just want to sort of help them disappear with a little bit of chill. So it's just two, two simple bows, and then I put those on the top. That's oh, I better. see, okay. That's much better. That's it, something like that. That goes on there like that. And I'm going to do very little else to it, frankly, because, um, again, you can sort of overdo things, but mm -hmm. I think that's probably enough. Little bits of ribbon, always just give them a little curl. Rather than cut them off and hide them, I'm going to use them as part of the, yeah. the design. And then just to finish it off, I've got one more really small, tiny little bow that I will just put on there. Oh, look at that. So that's it, basically. 
Um, it could be part of other something else, but as a centerpiece on its own for a princess party, for a yes, a, a ballerina thing, all sorts. You could with the satin looks now. There are so many colours that are so subtle, and the latex to match and the tool to match. Yeah, yeah. we could do. I, I kind of thinking you know, I can imagine this this party with a slightly different pastel coloured one of these on every table. Yeah, yeah. And how much fun that would be. And then you could, if you want to, add to that by putting. A bouquet with it so I pre-prepared one earlier which is basically let's move slightly to one side the great thing as well about this is it's all air filled at yeah, this yeah. point isn't it so last forever yeah <laughs> so I've got the the famous tool fluffy on the base there yeah two more satin hearts with a little bow underneath and the tutu super shape yeah and then if we just stood that to one side there we we'll, step back and put it over there but then those two will combine together to make really nice set piece at the buffet table or yeah. by the cake yeah. or anywhere that you want it to be chris that is that is lovely that's fantastic i very much like your tutu ballerina -y, ballerina -y tutu thing thing <laughs> so anyway from behind the yes. balloons All right. oh no we've got a question of the week don't oh, forget your question heavens. of the week chris <laughs> <laughs> go on Go on, what is it? What is it? What's your question? I'm of the I've desperately tried to think of one now. You've put me really think on the Think of something spot. completely random. What's your favourite food? <laughs> what do you... What's my favourite... Yeah. What is your favourite food? I mean, that is quite an interesting one because, you know, everybody tells me I'm really fussy. Yeah. But I travel all over the world and get fed all sorts of weird stuff and I haven't died yet, so I can't be that fussy. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, so it would be quite interesting. That's you know. it then. Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Chris Horn wants to know what is your favourite food. Thank you, Chris, so much for that. Thank you. Mine's so much. beans on toast, by the way. Beans on toast? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Good to know. I might have to comment on Comfort mine. I'll have, food. I'll have to think. Mine's probably chocolate. Yeah. To, that, yeah that's chocolate. a good close second. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye. Bye.